The National Training Agency, the NTA, is the national body responsible for regulating, supporting, harmonizing, and sustaining the quality, relevance, and efficiency of the TVET system in Trinidad and Tobago. Technical and vocational education and training, trades as it's commonly known, is just one way we can embrace the future of working with ease. It's time for TVET. And in this installment, Dr. Patrice Paris Sills, Chief Executive Officer of the National Training Agency, NDA, tells us more. Traditional academic programs are often geared towards the delivery of a fixed set of knowledge and theory based um, concepts. So a person will go into a subject area such as biology, so you understand what photosynthesis is, you can define theories, you can explain um, processes. In contrast, TVET or skills development looks at developing the competencies, the practical know-how skills that an individual needs to perform within the workplace. After our TVET programs, therefore, a candidate is able to graduate and get employment almost immediately because the focus there is on competence and practical mastery of skills. Of course, it's complemented by knowledge and underpinning attitudes and stuff that would be required to reinforce what is done in the workplace. But by and large, it is a more practical focus uh, initiative that allows for quicker uptake and employability among the candidates. The NTA supports national and regional development and global competitiveness. TVET has proven its place in the workforce landscape for over several decades, more so now. CEO of the organization, Dr. Patrice Paracils, shares with us why academia and TVET simply complement each other rather than compete. There was a point in time in our history when the backbone of our economic survival stood on those trade persons. When they were launching things like the Point Lisa's Industrial Estate, we were drawing on persons who had competencies practical competencies to build those plants and run those plants. I think that as persons appreciate that uh, TVET can occur at any level. So yes, we have uh, the flexibility that allows a candidate to come in with no formal education. And we will reinforce the practical work or the competencies and we will build skills. But that's just the entry point. TVET articulates to higher levels. Eventually you can become a technician where you are now also being given the background information. You have to understand maths and English, you have to understand the rudimentary of scientific principles that govern whatever the vocational area is. And then you can become a master craftsman where you're now analyzing and solving problems that oftentimes come with a huge bill if it is that something goes wrong in a plant. Dr. Paris Sills also indicated how the two spheres of study need each other in this evolving world of work. And you can continue to gravitate all the way up to having a university qualification because there are TVET universities out there in the international sphere. So I think that uh, it's sometimes a forced narrative to try to compare and contrast academic and try to stack them up one against the other. I think that there's a compliment. The concern that persons have when you have a qualification and a degree and you come in and you cannot change a light bulb or you cannot um, uh, splice a wire to just replace a, a circuit is where we think that uh, the NTA's role is to advocate for that uh, collaboration, that understanding that eventually what we are supposed to see are yet two streams, an academic stream and a vocational stream. But you should have those bridges and connecting points that allow persons to move from academia into vocational studies as well as those in vocational studies to get the complementary knowledge that is inherent in academic work. And therefore, they complement each other, not compete. For more info, visit the National Training Agency's website at www.ntattonline.org. To get ongoing updates, be sure to check out their social media handle at NTA TNT on Facebook and at NTA underscore TT on Twitter and YouTube.
This was a production of the Information Division, Government Communications.